I know you've been waiting for it. I know you've been waiting for it. So now it's here. I see Darius is checking in. Everybody starts showing up. You've been waiting for two days worth of the lady you've been telling me you've been wanting to see on Narc Abuse underscore TV network. She's here. Tracy Malone. This is going to be good. Two days worth, a slice of Tracy's show has just landed on Narc Abuse TV Network. Giving of her free time and her energy to answer your questions. Let's get to it. <laughs> you got it. You're it's coming together. It's coming together. We're trying to make it not fall over. Not, not fall over. It's okay. Falling over is what the audience wants to see. They like that. They like it just kind of like having a mind of its own. Oh, no. Well, it's got a mind of its own. Let's try another <laughs> angle. Oh, yeah. That's really close and scary. Ah! Oh. Let's Hello to Victor that's uh, coming in. Uh, Leslie is here. As I mentioned, Darius is here. Giving waves out to everybody there. Thank you for joining us. I am so happy. Let's turn that off because um, you survived the little glitch that I just had. I don't know where that came from. Typical guy stuff happening on my end. Um, and everyone else has just been like um, writing me and typing me. So what time is the show today? Who is, and say, and can, when, how soon are you going to upload it? And can I watch it again? And so everybody's been anxious to see you today. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. There is so much love for you that I have been experienced. I see Ann underscore Crosby underscore is here as well on my monitor over here. Thank you, Ann, for being here. Uh, she's one of your biggest fans as well. There's there's so many uh, that come across my page, uh, my small page, my part of the world uh, that want to at least see you. Um, <laughs> Be tortured. I mean, be a guest on this show. <laughs> be a guest well, on this show. That makes me feel so secure to be tortured. <laughs> we like this. This is an emotionally safe place to exist. Narc free. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm not going to be able to keep up with the names that are scrolling across the screen. So every now and then, you'll see me segue over here, Tracy. Uh, but uh, Fred Field is here. I guess maybe I'm saying that right. Anybody that joins, if you're first time here, feel free to make up a first name or put a first name in. Uh, so that I don't have to read uh, the entire Instagram name, especially if you have a question uh, for Tracy. Uh, Tracy has taken out of her time to do this. I am honored and uh, truly feel uh, special today that I get to spend some time with you, Tracy. But um, nobody, nobody watches these shows to, to hear me talk. So here we go. Tracy, um, people wrote me a number of different things, different things they want to hear you talk about. The rest, they just want to uh, go to your page and, and uh, check you out. So everybody, please, the Tracy Malone page is simply Tracy Malone. Tracy, <laughs> so, Tracy A. Malone. Oh, wait. Tracy A. Malone. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, right here. The copy's right here in front of me. I should read that. So everyone can find her there. You have a website. You also have a YouTube page. What else can you tell them so they can find you? I, I, I love my Pinterest. I love okay. making memes, which you see a lot on Instagram, but Pinterest is like, when I'm done with the day, I just pick that sucker up and I'm like okay. pinning my brains out. So YouTube, okay. I have a podcast and I actually brought this little business card to show oh, you awesome. that, oh, it's bring, backwards. Bring it down. A, wait, no, that was perfect. That, that works backwards? on my, no, no, that's perfect. No, it's perfect. Bring well, it down a little bit. The URL. It's oh, the URL. Okay, hold that there. Just for just hold it for a second, because I know my people. They will be screenshotting that and everything. That is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much, Tracy, for doing that. You're welcome. So that's what I want website. to do is, um, we're really going to be focusing everybody. I see Lisa Marie here and a number of other people. Um, so some of you who know how I do this, I do an extensive roll call throughout the show. Everybody gets seen and heard as much as possible. But I have a number of things to talk with Tracy about. So. Let me 
spend time with my guests and get us to, get us all started. Um, one of the things that uh, was written to me for you was that people wanted to know this. When it comes to trauma, everyone deals with trauma in many different ways, but some have tried to go back and remember how it all got started. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend to people when they're taking this journey? Ignore that part or try to remember the first time uh, they were kind of, well, wooed uh, by a narcissist. Well, when you're dealing with trauma um, and you're going back to look at things, I, I, I don't find it productive unless you're going back with a new vocabulary. Because looking at it and seeing it through the same lens is going to continue to injure you. Um, but if you are going back and going, oh, that memory was gaslighting and this and that, it gives it a lot more content. It gives it a place where you can put it in a box rather than it to fear you. You're, you're being more empowered about going backwards. And sometimes when you're talking to a coach or a therapist, mm. we need to have that information. And, and it's important for us to go, what did they go through to see what the wounds are? Because that's the key in the trauma is not necessarily what they did, but Got how it. it affected you and what do I need to, to change and fix? Okay, you mentioned, oh my goodness, I knew this was going to happen to me today. First of all, I'm not going to be able to keep up writing because I'm a guy. Um, so, so I'm going to do the best I can uh, with these show notes because you're, you're really helping us to understand we have to have a new vocabulary. I've never heard that before. That was really cool. And then you said that we need to see what the wounds are. As it were, if I went to you and I'm, you're, you're trying to get me to see where, th where all this jump started, mm -hmm. that gives you not just we're just talking about it. You're really helping me understand what my wounds are. Okay, I never looked at it at that angle before. Mm -hmm. That's very valuable, right? Absolutely, because again, if we don't look at the fact that this caused these things, right? And, and often, mm -hmm. as, as we all know, someone who has been abused by a narcissist in their adult life probably had some kind of relationship in their past, whether it's a parent or something, that normalized the crazy, right? So as you're sitting there, you're trying to figure out what happened in this situation. If we don't know there were wounds that came from right. your parents, then mm -hmm. we're looking at half the deck. It's hard to, to fix that because we can talk about the, the person you're here for, but we can't look at what caused it. What made you really good narc bait? Because so, that's what the wound has to be healed so that you can understand it. Okay. We're narc bait based upon the way you've just opened up our eyes in this moment because somebody normalized the crazy you said. So we got to we have to be honest with ourselves and not just keep dumping everything on the narc. Right. Absolutely. But we've got to do some excavating, emotional excavating. Absolutely. That's a really good way to put it. Um it it is about looking at at, at where we came from and and going, mm -hmm. "Oh, gosh, when my parents like neglected me." That's uh -huh. an abandonment wound. There's so many things that are an abandonment wound that then right. when we take that abandonment wound into the new relationship, we are literally bringing in a fear that is going to hold us to them because we're afraid that they'll leave us. So when we have that fear, we are going to be a lot more, um, we're going to react differently. But if we've healed the abandonment wound and sort of have this, I don't care if you leave me kind of attitude, they can't hurt you as much. But when they've got that fear and it's not got them it. leaving you, it's the old stuff that, that really makes us have to heal that stuff. Okay. So it's not them leaving. Uh, okay, you're blowing my mind, and we just got started. I'm not kidding. You have no idea right now, because I just looked at I just looked at my desk, and I'm going like, do I have enough paper here? Because I'm going to be writing too much. Okay, wait. So I'll just go back on this. A number of, of men watch this show, uh, so I they they write to me and say, make sure that I have enough timeouts. I call them timeouts on my show. I'll, I'll do my guess timeout for a second, because I got to kind of dissect what you just said. And the guys, of course, appreciate that. So if I do that periodically, and for those of you who have never been on this uh, uh, network before, that's what I'll do. It has nothing to do with my guests. It has to do with guys are listening, and they and I'm can I can see people writing me during the show. By the way, uh, so they're appreciating what you're saying, but the guys are going like, repeat what she just said. You just mentioned that we will take that into a relationship. Oh yeah. And it's not so much them leaving. No. We're still dealing with something that. 
if it wasn't a parent, maybe it was a grandparent, maybe it was a sibling, mm -hmm. we could have had narcissistic siblings. And, and now we're having relationships just like what we have with our sibling. Absolutely. And, and, and a, like an abandonment wound as an example, because there's thousands of, of wounds okay. we have that we need to look at, right? But abandonment mm -hmm. is big. And um, if we didn't have it before, after a narcissistic relationship, we probably will because <laughs> probably. of abandonment. Okay. And just so you know that abandonment is not just someone leaving you. Abandonment is a wound huh. that entails betrayal, and okay. neglect, abuse, loss, and rejection. So a lot of okay. that, as you can see, is going to be what the narcissist did to yep. us. So it's not just that fear, but, but the rejection. Everything else just piles on top of it. And... Um, potentially can can keep you stuck for a long time if you don't even know that that's the wound so the wound needs to well it needs to be detected it needs to well i'm just going to say me i'm going to go into dad mode for a second everybody some of you are used to this then we need to get rid of the wound so that we can move forward because that's the way oh, dads look at stuff whole... dad go like what's that problem let's get rid of that now you can be happy exactly. <laughs> just gone about your life that. so done. i okay. I know it's not that easy for other, I mean, I have two daughters, so I know they can look at me and say, Dad, I got to kind of work through this. I got you, but we're going to get rid of that wound because <laughs> you need to be happy. So I can understand it. Some people, it may take time, though, to process the fact that they have a wound that is not fully up on the narcissist, but the narc definitely contributed to the deepening of the wound, if not es escala es escalating the pain. Of course they do, and they know exactly what your wounds are. So, you know, oh, yeah, code, yeah, code yeah. dependency and right, people right. pleasing and boundaryless, they know because they've tested you that you don't have good boundaries. They've tested you that if they say something, that's you rotten. Don't try to okay, so I'm sorry, that's rotten. That's just rotten. That's just, <laughs> they tested. Of that's course. rotten. Of course they do. That's awful. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm just now, I'm going to ask this. Please enlighten everybody. Please, you're not immune to the information you're talking about, correct? Oh, no. I, I, I'm a surthriver. Yeah. So how does a person move to be a surthriver? They can't do that if they don't approach or look at the wound, right? They can't just hop over that. Right. And, and there's if not, not they'll be in a circle. There's always one wound. I mean, that's the whole Oh, thing. okay. Oh, okay. There's, there's no, like, that's that, a good point. You yeah. know, it's, it's, oh, I've got to learn to love myself. Oh, I, I, I thought I loved myself. I, I got my nails done. But it's <laughs> it's to love yourself enough to say, that was wrong. Get the heck out of my life. So there's so uh, love that is not it. just about, you know, I get my hair done. It's all good. Yeah. There's self-love that says, I don't deserve that treatment and I'm out of here. That's, again, to, to empower ourselves. There's so many pieces of this puzzle that we all have to look at. And so a person could could feel that, okay, I'm with an arc, but I'm getting my hair done, as you said, I'm going to, I'm doing this. But in reality, if they don't, maybe, everybody's different, say, I'm packing my stuff, <laughs> this is not right. If they don't move away from it or set up some clear, defined ways to deal with them, they're still allowing this perpetual abuse mm -hmm. on their heart, on their mind, and technically on their body, physically. And on their soul, because when your soul is like, like Trouble. lost to the yeah. fact that you have no power, it's really hard to gain that back. If you lost the power, you mean? If, yeah, if, if, you, if you don't believe in yourself, if you, if yeah, you okay. have like no love for yourself. And, and right. again, nails is not love. I mean, I thought it was. I really believe that that was self-love. <laughs> You um, wait, wait, you're telling pedicures, I, that's not love. I thought that was when I love myself, I go get a pedicure. <laughs> exactly what I thought. But I limited, less limited love. I stayed with them, right? That's the part that is the self-love that we need to go. Why did I stay? Oh, there's a pattern. How many times have I dated jerks before? How many times have I let this happen? It's looking right. back and going, I want to break the cycle. So they already have the pattern, the person outside of us. We also have a pattern then is what you're kind of saying. And if we're not careful, even though they have a bad pattern, we'll let that person into our life and we'll now they're putting that pattern on top of, um, 
it's just like it'll be a never ending cycle of of one relationship after another, one home yeah. after another, one bed after another, one job after another. it just becomes this horrible cycle. Yeah. But we we can stop it though. We are not powerless per se is what you're saying. Absolutely. We have the power but it takes work, you know, you hear about do the work and people <laughs> yeah. are like, I'm watching YouTube videos, isn't that enough work? And and the difference between that is that when we're watching YouTube videos, 90% of victims are watching narc abuse videos. So they're understanding gaslighting from 15 different videos, right? They're just going, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, how right. How do we apply that uh. to how you had that in your life and what do we do to heal that mm -hmm. and we look at what do we do M many people don't pick up a book you know they don't go, uh, oh no, there's a true. book on abandonment oh that's there's true. a book on gaslighting yeah. i could work on myself yeah. it's it's figuring out your pattern so that you cannot let it happen again my, my, that's, you just said that to me about the book part and my daughter just highlighted that last night well both of my daughters they, they they're, they're real big on reading books they got somebody's book here uh um I'll mention another time, but uh, they were just highlighting that they, anytime they get that stress at work or a number of different things, you know, you can read a book and then you go do other things. And so when they get that little stress, they pick up the book and just start reading it and everything they say quiets down because they can see everything clearly. Instead of reading a book once or not at all, a person should probably pick up a book too Absolutely. and read how they can improve instead of just the quick hit of a U YouTube video per se. Absolutely. Um, I, you know, I, when I was going through my recovery, I studied fear. Fear is like a wound that if yeah. you are crippled by fear, you're going to be crippled to stay with the narcissist, right? Uh, because you're afraid they're going to leave you. That's one of the fears. That's abandonment. And, it, and it's not necessarily the fear they generated. This is we're talking about something. This fear started before you ever met that person. Absolutely. That is that is uh, that is toxic. I can look at fear and say that it made me choose my husband's. Wow. Because I was afraid. And, and again, if I go back, and this is true, you leave Tracy being as honest as I possibly can and, and vulnerable and stupid. But at the same time, if I go back. <laughs> this is the place fear, to do that. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the, the fear came from my mother and father telling me that I would never be good enough, that I better marry well. And I so, keep hearing that. That <laughs> actually happened to you too? No, my guest yesterday just told me that. And I can't even tell you after almost 300, 200 and some odd guests. That it's just unbelievable how many times I've heard ladies. I'm looking at a strong woman. I'm look. I've talked to you. We've talked. Show prep. We've talked numerous times. Even after that, I cannot believe somebody would. I could never tell my daughter that. My father never told my sister that. I can't believe somebody would tell their daughter that. I know you want to hear another one, and this is like again. I'm not like, but no, my, no, I understand. But somebody father, needs to hear it. Yeah, my father passed away in uh, December. And I would say in November, so one of the last days that he was cognitive, I was like, I wanted you to see the book. It's going to be so exciting. And you know what he said to me? Well, you never even read a term paper. What the hell are you doing writing a book? It's I, coming, I don't... overcoming that challenge because that's the recording that your, your mind takes in. I'm not good yeah. enough. Maybe because I can't spell, maybe I can't write, right? And that keeps you crippled. But parents do that to kids all the time, and and it hurts, and it hurts, and it moves in. But taking that into the next relationship isn't yeah. good either. Yeah. So I wrote right. a book just to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're it's like you're constantly climbing up stairs that are never ending. It's mm -hmm. it's uh well, well you just said uh, please correct me, and I tell all my guests correct me because I'm not the expert you are. But did you just say it's like a recording in your head? Is that what you said? Of course. Okay, it is. I'm so stealing that for you. I, I like that. No, because I hear the same recording from just about every guest that I've had on, whether they're a psychiatrist, a therapist. I have a number of different people been on this show, and I cannot believe the recording could be so loud and profound to take the legs from people. I have to turn to the screen. Uh, everybody, I see a lot of regulars here along with others, but I, I just have to say, everybody knows me. They just keep writing. They know I'll eventually <laughs> come and talk to them because they're trying to get to you. So uh, I had my turn first, everybody. So this is the way it goes. Normally I go last, but I took my, I took my turn first. Uh, that's They're going to turn on me. So Anne puts in, yes, that is so true. If you have done the healing work, why does it emerge later in life is what she's asking. Because they re-trigger it. 
Like okay. they, everything comes back. You mean the narc does? Per yeah. Se. If they're doing okay, the got same it. sort of things to you. Behavior toward recording. If they're putting, if they're playing the same recording, okay, I get you. And then, and you don't realize it's the same as the old stuff. So it, it just, unless it's, again, doing the work doesn't mean you're not going to experience the stuff again. Doesn't mean it's right. not going to come back in your face. It mm -hmm. means you're going to react differently when it comes yeah. back in your face. I recognize that. I see the pattern. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hey. sorry. I know. You, I told you. I tried to warn you. I got to do a timeout. <laughs> what did you just say? That was good. <laughs> I caught it. I don't even have to look over here. Anybody writing me during the show? Listen. Did you just say we react differently? It's the, it could be the same recording, but we will react differently as we're older to it. Because it's we could it's different. It's different than it was when you were seven and your father said. Got it. Right. Got it. It's but yeah. it's so it doesn't seem like the same, but at the same yeah. time, it's the same underlying "I'm not good enough" message. Yeah. I I am unloved. All those messages that are hiding underneath it, even though we've healed the daddy wound in this example, versus Got it. it, there's still if I feel invalidated, that that wound is going to come back. Got it. And so uh, hopefully that helps you some. And and uh, um, we've got to move to. Um, uh, Jerry, please, uh, hopefully I got that right. JV Victor Flores, if not, I said it wrong. I got you mixed up with somebody from yesterday's show. But uh, J. Victor Flores says, I have already left that relationship and parenting. And it, in other words, and is parenting with the ex. It's hard. Now, I just a heads up to everybody. We are going to do another show tomorrow, which will focus on solely, fundamentally, two things. One, uh, divorce divorcing the narcissist book that uh, Tracy has. We're going to get to that also in a minute. But uh, Victor, please keep this in mind. Jay Victor, please keep this in mind. We will be talking about parental alienation tomorrow. Uh, we'll be focusing on that. So feel free to come back for that show. But for your point that you're making right now, um, Tracy, he's saying he's finding it difficult, even though he's left the relationship, to parent with that same person, to co-parent. Well, of course, uh, especially if you have to co-parent um, it, it does make it difficult, right? And, um, you know, the question would be to say, what has he done to heal that wound? Um, and sometimes therapists, which can be the lifesaver of your life, sometimes therapists are doing what we talked about in the first five minutes, which was, yeah. let's just talk about that again, instead of Got going, it. yo, you have an abandonment, <laughs> yeah, get right. this book, right. learn it, do it. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, there's things like trust, right? Trust is probably very big for people. How do I trust again? Well, we've got, got to it. figure out how. what's the criteria for that and, and how do we move on from there. And, and they may have to look at how they lost their trust to or who, who made it where they don't feel that they can trust people. So that's what a therapist can kind of help them kind of dig up, right? Absolutely. And again, okay. when you're with a narcissist, they've done things that betray you, which is a betrayal of trust. Got it. So, so there are things that they've done and there are aspects that they put into play for their survival that could trigger you based upon the wounds you already have. But like you said, they kind of know your wounds. We they probably, know. you know, we probably went out and told them what they were in the first place. Yeah. And they're, they're storing them back there, ready to use them to manipulate us is what you're saying. I have something on my website that I call green yeah. flags. Literally ah, okay. up in the air. When we are having that conversation in the beginning, when we meet yeah. somebody, uh -huh. They are narcissistic. How? What kind of family do you have? Are you guys close? And you're answering, oh, they're all crazy, and I don't see them very much. Well, now uh, they know they can isolate you. Now they know wow. what you, you know, oh, what kind of things do they do? And they're just sitting there going, oh, all right, she won't recognize that, or I can do that. That's so, good. So, I got it. Okay, so we, we need to be, uh, for all my viewers and, and those who, who watch the show, please, Take this point to heart because many of you write me about just what we're talking about and you want to see shows about it. She, Tracy has just highlight, highlighted to you to be mindful of that. Carry your green flag, everybody. And if, the, if anybody asks, tell them Tracy told you to. <laughs> so you need to be careful if they start to, well, in, in, a, in a very subtle way or even seductive way, try to, well, interrogate you, essentially what they're doing, to find out where they can hurt you in the future. Or what manipulate what your vulnerabilities are, right? Vulnerable, okay, vulnerable, right? So, and that's very important because. Oops, hold on a second here. That's very important because before we know it, we're talking to somebody that's going to hurt us, 
Um, Anne Crosby has this. She says, if you have had abandonment issues and you have done the healing work and I was in a good place mentally when I met the narcissist, he knew the wounds, so use them in the in the devalue stage. Is that is that normal? Of course. That's their running plan. You know, of course it is because it's going to tap into that emotion. It's going to tap into that, and regardless of you doing the wound and healing, say the parent abandonment or a previous mm -hmm. abandonment. All of a sudden, now on your dinner plate, you've got an abandonment potato, right? And you're sitting there going, wait, I already healed this. Well, now we have to look at it and not go, oh, my God, I'm going down the same rabbit hole. But look at okay. it and go, this is triggering me. Why? Why is this coming back? Oh, okay. Abandon me and look at it in that regard. Because the triggers that we have are emotional pulls on us. So all we have to do is like have that feeling of, of not being um, heard, not being safe. And the abandonment wound is, it's just like on your plate. It's there, you don't want it, uh -huh. but it's there, but you don't have to be afraid of it. If you are already, if you've done the work, just acknowledge, oh, that's what that is. And it's okay. not that we have to go, oh no, I'm going down it again. Right, oh, right, wait right. a second. And this triggers, when that happens, I get triggered and I get, sad or i get this i get fearful what is it understand all the elements about it we don't have to run out of the theater screaming when we see it or out of the out of off the rather run away from the dinner table we can kind of be emotionally stable even just recognize what it is is what you're saying mm -hmm. we don't have to think oh you know what i did all that work it was for nothing i'm still in the same place because if we recognize it we're probably not in the same place anymore because oh, we're wait. Right. We wouldn't have Overall. recognized it earlier, right? So right. Yeah, you're okay. in a better right. place. But it's also the fear that everybody says is like, oh, my God, I, I just went all the way down again. Well, no, it's a dip in the roller coaster. It's, it's not going down, having to go under the covers and hide again. It's not all that unless we put it in our mind that it's that. Uh. And go, ah, it's happening again. And then you pull the covers uh. over. But if you sit there and look at it and go, this is why this hurts so much. It's so familiar, and Got this it. is how I react when that happens. Even if the, the narcissistic person or ex is doing it on purpose, we can still not give them all the power by saying they have control over us. I just see what it is, and they're attacking this particular wound. I like, I like would, you, would you say, would you call it an abandonment potato? You need to you need to hashtag that. I'm serious. You need to put that stuff. You need to. I got the whole green flag thing. That's really cool. But you need to hashtag. Tell your marketing department. Tell you the marketing hashtag. Department. Okay, okay. So, it, well, you, you didn't have to tell us that, but now, okay. But so tell, go have a meeting with yourself. Hashtag abandonment potato. And, and everybody that watches my shows knows this. But listen, that needs to be a 19. The heart's already going. They know what I'm going to say next. You need to have a 1999 t-shirt. I will buy. I guarantee you my daughters will. Both of them will buy it. You you got I we three will buy the shirt and I'll be wearing it on the show and everybody will go like, "I know where that's from." But you got to do hashtag abandonment potato and underneath it it's got to have your IG page or your or your website right underneath it. And yeah. so look, the hearts are going. See, every, uh, my lo my loyal followers that are kind to watch the show. They know exactly what I'm thinking. They monetize that real quick. So anyhow, um everybody cool. Um, if I mention that, for those of you who are new, that's because we need to support each other. Not, it's not a matter of money. It's a matter of uh, awareness. And the more people have different things that make us smile and laugh, uh, it, it brings us back to center again. Um, there's a little bit more on the screen. I just got to do this. But we are going to turn our attention uh, to the book in just a moment here. Let me give everybody uh, this. Let's see. Victor puts in there. Jay Victor, uh, he said, thank you. You nailed, uh, you nailed on my message. Sorry for the lack of uh, explanation. No, no, you did fine. The explanation was fine. Tracy, remember, this is a slice of Tracy's show on Narc Abuse TV Network. She, she knows exactly. She can see you right through the screen, my friend. She yeah. can see you. Yeah, you're creepy, scared. But you're scared. Yeah, no, you scared me for a second. Uh, and Anne says thank you to you in regards to what you said. You're so right. Excellent advice. Uh, you got a heart on the screen. Um, a sexy underscore God's children. Everybody, please keep this in mind. Feel free to give me a first name even if you make it up, uh, uh, so that I don't have to read the entire Instagram uh, IG page. She says, that's so true, support each other. 
Why is support so important when it comes to talking about narcissistic abuse? Wow. Well, you have just like landed the Tracy mother load because <laughs> when I first found out about this five years I ago. Watch, I watch your stuff. I watched I, it religiously I, for about a month. Go ahead. I, I, started, I know what questions I'd ask. Go ahead. I started my own support group here in Colorado. Yep. And I started a second one uh, like a year later. And um, support is like community, finding people that understand. Because if you don't have that support system and you've got friends and family that might be there to support you, if they don't get it, it's like they get tired of hearing the stories and you start to look crazy. So having an amazing support system, whether it's a coach or a therapist or a support group or even a Facebook group is going mm -hmm. to be like, someone gets it. I'm not alone. And that validation is the ladder to climb out of the pit. There's another yeah. one. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> yeah, I was doing Hey, listen. Well, hey, make it work because if you don't, somebody here will. Somebody here will do it. I've already seen it happen. Uh, it says you, you can support, but what if the other person, I'm sorry, this is a, a sexy God's children. Uh, I hate to say this, but I'm just going to do this. So sexy writes, <laughs> you can support, but what if the other person uh, doesn't try to make up, make or they try to make you upset and feel guilty? That you're trying to get support. Tough luck. That's the part yeah, of self-love. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. That's the part of self-love. But they're yeah. not going to like that you're getting help or getting right. better because that means you're going to leave them, right? And so, of course, they're not going to like it. So right. if we can let go of the fact that we think that we need permission to get help and get better, then they will have less power over us, right? I'm not saying that in the situation, if you are with them and in a relationship and in the same house, that it's mm -hmm. going to be easy. But mm -hmm. if you have that as an experience, that is the biggest red flag of all, mm -hmm. that they don't True. want me yeah. to get better. Yeah. There, done. Yeah. That's all you need. And, and we don't need permission. I like what you just said. We don't need their permission to get better or to address a previous wound, let alone them pouncing on that old wound to create new wounds. We don't need their permission to get better. Um, less power. Uh, she said thanks to you, by the way. You see that on the screen there. Uh, so, so, so I, I know. I just feel funny saying that. That's just me. So uh, I, I'm too old to say, to say the word sexy. I'm just being honest. I just feel that's too. I just say, I'd rather say good looking that makes up for just the one word. Anyhow, I don't know where that went, and I don't know where that's going to head, but I'm going to stop. All right, the book. The book is Divorcing a Narcissist. The cover alone, well, there, oh, thank you. You beat me to it. I was going to say, do you have a copy there? Yeah, hold that just for a few seconds. Thanks, yeah, shot. and down a little bit more just for a few more seconds because I know what my people are doing there. They're Be screenshotting back. that. Okay, so um, if you could, please, um, we have a few moments before we're going to take our commercial break. Thank you for telling me your name. I had no problem saying sexy. I just felt creepy saying it to you here online. Uh, her, name is, her name is Leola. Thank you, Leola. For that i appreciate it um the book uh i've been in, i've been enjoying it immensely Yay. and what i have thank you so much um you're the first person that has ever been on the show make sure i say this correct yes and i have read your book before you came on Ooh. i had started reading your book i should say before you came on i normally don't do it because i don't want to have a bunch of thoughts in my head that i can't get out during a two-hour time frame Mm -hmm. But I still have them now, and I know we can't address them all. But it's amazing. Okay, so don't be. What is that? Uh, <laughs> all right, you I, you probably can't see the screen, but it says um, we will need that book soon. That's coming from Matthew. Matthew is eventually going to be on the show. Um, he has a book coming out too, but he wants to be able to get his hands on your book. So as I tell everybody, don't be a cheapskate. Put the pizza down. Get the book instead. Okay, so don't, you know, okay, you can always add to your waistline. Add to your emotional health instead. Get the book. Divorcing a Narcissist. The subtitle it's, it's, is the best part, though. So we're okay, go, what you got? You can't make this <laughs> You got stick. Is that a sticker? That's is a that, sticker. You got yes. stickers and everything. Oh, You're on bracelets. it. Bracelets, I am ready. Wait, wait, you have bracelets? No, you got to go back to the bracelets. They say Sir Thriver on them. Well, let me okay. see if I can pull one off. Can people, get, can people get those from you? I haven't or no? figured out what I'm doing with them yet. Um, there we go. Okay, um, 
but yeah, they're part of the title of the book. So I thought, yeah, let's show it like, like the, you know, live strong thing is I'm a survivor. Hmm. Okay. So, um, you make me think about something right here. I, I do, I, do you, uh, how much do they cost? Can people buy them? I haven't done You it. haven't nothing, huh? What I'm thinking Look. about doing is doing a um, a giveaway for pre-sale. When people yeah. go to my website and pre-sale the book, I will mail them stuff. Yeah, Pickers okay. So and stuff. Okay. So if if you if you feel comfortable at any point, feel free to mention more of that on the page I mean it's on the show right now. Um, everybody, um, as I often do on this show, people come on and they don't have their book out for maybe a year. I always tell you pre order the book. Just write that person, right? Whoever's got the book. So please go to Tracy's page. Tracy, your page, please tell everybody, please. We, the, the book website is divorcingyournarcissistbook.com. And that's okay. where we'll have a sign up to, to get notified when we start the pre-sale. Um, and that should be like, depending on how long it takes for the layout girl and the audible yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, within the next three weeks, it'll be launched. It's been okay, two so and a half years of working on it. You've got plenty of time. You've got at least 21 days or thereabouts to go ahead and go to that website and make this happen for Tracy because I said so, and I will find you if you don't. I promise you. I'm looking at this big screen, but I'll point and look at this camera. I will find you, and you know I will because many of you watch this show. I will find you. I have friends in the FBI and CIA. So, so hearts, are on the, <laughs> hearts are on the screen. They're laughing. They're laughing. Gardner, thank you, Matt. I see, see you, Mr. Gardner, laughing. Uh, leave no contact. Go Ghost is here. Um, uh, you're getting thanks uh, for, for this, Tracy. You're getting uh, – there's so much I can't keep up. Um, they love the bracelets, though. I knew that was going to happen. So you showed the bracelets. They're going to want the oh. bracelets big time. So no pressure. You better make that happen real quick, though. <laughs> well, I, have, I have a thousand they, of them. So oh my just goodness! Really, just how am I going to do it? Because I gave them away when I had a um, sponsorship thing for women who couldn't afford to pay for a yeah. group, okay. and so mm -hmm. anyone who donated got bracelets. That was in there January, you go. and now I'm like, well, they've got to go for the book too. So um, I will figure it out. Okay, get the book, get the bracelet. You want to do something even special? Crazy has nothing to do with this. I'm just telling you, donate for those who can't buy the book. Do anything you think you can do. Get your copy, donate half half of the funds uh, for another copy, or, or or donate for an entire book that you can let Tracy know she can give away or send to somebody or do a giveaway. Hearts are across the screen because that means they appreciate doing that with you. They may do that. I have nothing to do with it, but I'm telling you, if you don't what do you that, I'm going to beat you people. I'm just <laughs> well, I didn't pull out the IRS one. I got a few friends there too. So, <laughs> so I'm just saying, if you want to get the book, best choice you could do put the pizza down but if you want to get a book to give to a friend or for her to donate uh to some ladies that can't afford to get the book or men feel free to do that as well all right we have been 38 going on 39 minutes in time flies but we need to talk more about the book so the next what we're going to do right now i know everybody's talking to me uh, i can see it across the screen here um I will get the book. Send me the link. She just said, send me the link. Uh, do me a few, huge favor. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to provide the link on my page or directly contact Tracy and ask for the link. That will work uh, to your favor without a doubt. Uh, but uh, we're going to talk more about the book. I want to spend the second segment on the book as much as possible. Uh, so everybody, if you're coming back, a little different than what I normally do in the shows. I'm not going to play a game with Tracy and do all the other things that I do normally with my guests. I want to talk about this book as much as possible. Uh, so we're going to do that when we come back. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll she just said, don't go. And you are something else. I love you so much. You are so sweet. Um, we're going to go right now and take a break. Uh, and then we're going to come right back. But please remember, Anne is going to be back tomorrow. Um, she was you kind enough Tracy. to do this. I'm, did I just say Anne? And we'll probably be back tomorrow. With I take that back. And we'll be back tomorrow. You better be back. I know you're in Ireland, but you better be back tomorrow. Um, Tracy will be back tomorrow uh, to talk about per, uh, parental alienation. We're going to be back in just a moment, about 10, 15 minutes. And we're going to talk all about the book. Well, if uh, you... The narcissist. Uh, well, of course, the narcissist. We're, I'm going to pick your brain a lot on a number of things. Everybody keeps rolling in. What time tomorrow? 
what, what you guys are really good. They're just totally talking uh, to me. Uh, so tomorrow, Tracy will be here. I'll just read the copy to you right now. Tracy will be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. out there uh, from uh, her area, which is in Denver, uh, Mountain Standard Time. So 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, you're getting a great job, Tracy. You're getting a lot of love all across the screen. Uh, I can't even keep up with what they're doing. You're a special woman, Tracy. Oh, God. <laughs> you're a special woman. There are a number of things that you have posted. There are a number of videos that you have made. Um, that uh, in show prep with other people, they have talked about you. So I want you to know that on air. I could have told you that in show prep, but I didn't. Nice. Thank I you. want you to know there are things that you have said that have really clicked and, and connected with people because the way you say things and the way you express yourself is not ho-hum, feel bad about me, but it's ho-hum, don't let the narcissist have power over you. You're very good at expressing what they're doing, but honing in that we need to focus in on what we need to do to move forward. You make people feel better without them thinking that they're not enough. And that's why they found themselves in that hole. You let them know that something happened to them. Uh, it's something happened uh, around them, but they have the power to, to move away from it and they don't have to take it. Um, so I, I really appreciate the way you, you express yourself. You're a very naturally beautiful person. But uh, you're an exceptionally classy woman, and I appreciate a lot of the things that you do with your video and your program, and a lot of the people here, too, uh, as well. Yes, the show tomorrow will be live, and I'm just going to read what it says on the screen because everybody's agreeing with me. Tracy is the best. Very impressive. Thank you. Uh, so we'll be back uh, in a little bit. Uh, Tracy will be here, and we'll talk about the book and, of course, narcissistic abuse. We'll be right back in a little bit, everybody. Bye for now.